Hello viewers, welcome to my channel once again. We are on the coordinate geometry 2. We are taking the equations of a circle, giving a certain condition. And in this episode, we'll be taking the condition that the end point of the diameter will be given to you. We know in general, if you are asked to find the equation of a circle, you need the center, you need the radius. That's in general. But in this case, the end point of a diameter, meaning the double of the radius, has been given. How do we find the equation of that circle? So if, for example, we have our circle, center being here, so this is going to be the N, and this is going to be the Q. So I say find the equation of a circle with end point of each diameter and Q given by the point. So this is going to be 1, negative 1, and this is going to be 4, 1. Now how do we find the equation of this circle? There are two approach to this. I will go along with the shorted method. We can also say that uh, since this is a diameter and a circuit theorem, a diameter sustains an angle of 90 at the circumference. So if I have another general point, let's say P, X, Y, which is unknown, this is going to be a right angle. So we know the diameter sustains an angle of 90 degrees at the circumference. So this simply means that the line NP is perpendicular to the line PQ. And if NP and PQ are perpendicular, then it means that the product of their gradient must give us a negative one. Or the gradient of one should be a negative reciprocal of the other. So what do we do? If this two is going to be perpendicular, so we say if and P will be perpendicular to PQ. Then we can say that the gradient of NP times gradient of PQ must give us a negative one. If I find a gradient, and we know gradient is a change in the x and uh, y axis divided by the change in the y at, uh, x axis. The change in y axis over the change in the x axis. So let's take the first one. Since this is going to be the line, these are the end point. We are going to have y minus y, x minus x, x is y2, y1, x2, y1 so this is going to be y minus negative 1 divided by x minus what 1 this should multiply the gradient of the same line the perpendicular line which is going to be y here minus 1 divided by x minus 4. This is the y2, y1, x2, x1. We can also do it y1, y2, x1, x2. We can do that subtraction as well. And this must give us a negative 1. So let's compute this and see what we can get. A negative and negative together become a positive. So we're having y plus 1 x minus 1 times y minus 1 x minus 4 equals to negative 1. So seeing this is a, a fraction, multiplying fractions, the numerators multiply together and your denominators also multiply. So in this case, I'll be having y plus 1 multiplying what? y minus 1 all over x minus 1 x minus 4 and this will still give us what a negative 1 
right away looking at the top i can see a difference of two square if i want to expand it could be y square minus what one square then here we perform the the foil method whereby x times x times 4 1 times x times 4 all right so this right here is going to be y squared minus 1 over x times x will give us x squared x times minus 4 will be minus 4x negative 1 times x negative x negative 1 times negative 4 positive 4 or equals to negative 1 so now don't forget this is going to be over 1 as well so we can now cross multiply but before we cross multiply these two terms are like them so this times this give us y square minus 1 don't forget this is also square it's a difference of two square first term square second term square because they are the same thing with a difference of minus and plus so one square will still give us one and that will multiply one equals to this negative one is multiplying x square if you compute this you'll be having negative 5x then plus 4 so our y square minus 1 will be equal to negative 1 times x square will be x square negative 1 times negative 5 positive 5x five negative 1 times 4 negative 4 so now we need to transpose all this to the left to have our general term so I'll be having y square this is negative so it will be negative x square positive negative so we have the negative coming to the left become positive x this will come to become negative 5x this become positive don't forget we are having a negative one there so negative one equals to zero let's find out this by the x to come first we have x square y square minus 5x plus what three equals what zero so the equation of the circle that has a diameter having the end point to be one negative one and uh one and what negative one and what negative four will give us x square plus y square minus five x plus ten all right now i will explain the second method so that you will try it and see if you can be able to get the same answer you know if i have the center and the diameter if the point that we have n and what q we are aware that for you to be able to get the equation of a circle we need the center and the diameter and the radius right the center is here which is the midpoint of n and what q how do we find the midpoint it will be x2 plus x1 over 2 comma y2 plus y1 over 2 that will be the midpoint it means adding the x values divided by 2 will give you the x coordinate of the center adding the y values divided by 2 give you also your y coordinate of the center so you can find the center right so now you have gotten the center you are after the radius which is also the distance between the center and the end point so it could be distance between this center and q or the distance between n and the center when you find that distance you only substitute it into x minus a r square y minus b r square equals to r square the radius you find which is the distance between center and q or n and center will be this then the a and the b are the centers you found from the midpoint when you substitute you arrive at the same formula i wanted to leave that as a surprise so that if you're able to watch the video to this point try that method even though it may seems to be a bit longer getting varied ideas of a question is also 
one way of understanding it better. All right. Thank you for watching. If you grab the concept, don't forget to share it with somebody. Don't forget to leave a comment for us to get interactive. Don't forget our motto is I teach, you learn, you grow together. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.